my name's Craig Miller, and this is my demo of the Whimsy Wonderwalker, a script I wrote for some of my students so they can understand <coughs> the, some of the complexities of a uh, walk cycle. So uh, let's load the walker. Just the bottom half. Um, a few sections in here. Um, loading a merge. Merge. Um, there will be a, uh, a mergeable scene available um, at some stage, or you could uh, rip this scene apart um, so you can apply it to your own models. Uh, we have walk cycle duration, fairly self-explanatory. A stride cycle describes the physical placement of the uh, torso or the, the centre of gravity, the cog, um, and the hips, and where the feet are placed when the walk cycle is moving. A step cycle describes how the feet are placed on the ground as they roll through and off. Uh, we can walk on tiptoes as well. We have a save setting and load settings um, and stop and reset which uh, repositions uh, the model in a neutral position um, and of course the go button. One walk cycle coming right up. Okay, um, I'll just briefly go through um, and change some of the settings so you can see how quickly um, the walk cycle be, can be changed. Um, as I say, uh, it goes from too slow to too fast and anywhere in the middle. And it should update immediately. Um, as I say, advance and uh, and height um, change the f just the offset positions there. Sway changes from side to side. Uh, up height and down height um, give an indication of the weight of a character. Uh, we have rotation for the hips. Um, Uh, hip tilt rolls the hips back and forwards. Hip twist twists the hips around as the legs are moving back and forth. And hip roll rolls the hips from side to side as the legs move underneath them. Uh, we have stride length and stride width. Uh, that's not animatable. Uh, we have mid-stride height, which is how high the foot lifts off the ground. Um, and where it moves to is the advance and retard. So you can kick the foot out in front. Um, we have uh, how wide the foot moves as it comes forward. Or how narrow. And we have foot splay, so you could walk like Charlie Chaplin or Pigeon Toad. And we also have knee splay as well, so you can wind the knees in and out as necessary. Uh, the next section is the step cycle. As I said, it describes the attitude of the foot on the ground. So contact angle is the angle of the foot makes contact with the ground. The ball of the foot angle is the angle that the ball the angle of the foot rotates through off the ball of the foot and then the angle that it rotates through off the toe just before it lifts. Uh, toe drop is um, can help you uh, achieve a little bit more of a um, toe dragging along the ground effect. And uh, the last one is walking on tiptoes. So uh, at walking on tiptoes, the ball of foot angle becomes constant. So we we'll need to make a few alterations in some of those settings. Now, if we keep the contact angle high, it feels like they're wearing high heels. So the heel hits first and then the toe comes down. If we drop the contact angle down to zero, then it looks more like the foot is walking on tippy toes. So, a brief overview of the Whimsy Wonder Walker. I hope you've enjoyed this little presentation and learned something about how a character walks. So download it, use it, enjoy it. Thank you.